Among freshwater turtles, the Magdalena River turtles have among the longest aquatic migratory patterns, rarely leaving the water except to bask. Movement patterns are predicated on sex, body size, food availability, habitat quality, season, reproductive status, and life stage. Seasonal movements are most prominent due to changing water levels. Research has shown increased movement to deeper waters, likely as a result of climate change. Despite legislation passed in 1964 aimed at protecting these species, their populations have continually decreased. While many anthropogenic factors have contributed to the decline of Magdalena River turtles, overharvest and climate change are the most prominent. Overharvest results from human demand for Magdalena River turtle consumption. Locals believe that feeding on the turtles offer many medicinal qualities. The Santa Marta wren is a species of bird in the family Troglodytidae. It is endemic to Colombia. Its natural habitat is subtropical or tropical moist montane forests. It is threatened by habitat loss. Blue-bearded helmet crest has elongated purpley blue-throated feathers, which assemble in the form of a beard and a prominent white crest. The white frame from the face extends from the rear of the head, around the ear covers and down to the breast side. It is an extremely rare hummingbird which was known only from 62 museum specimens with the most recent specimen taken since 1946. The cotton-top tamarind displays a wide variety of social behaviors. In particular, groups form a clear dominance hierarchy where only dominant pairs breed. The female normally gives birth to twins and uses pheromones to prevent other females in the group from breeding. These tamarinds have been extensively studied for their high-level O cooperative care, as well as altruistic and spiteful behaviors. Communication between cotton-top tamarins is sophisticated and shows evidence of grammatical structure, a language feature that must be acquired. Up to 40,000 cotton-top tamarins are thought to have been caught and exported for use in biomedical research before 1976. Now, the species is at risk due to large-scale habitat destruction, as the lowland forest in northwestern Colombia where the cotton-top tamarind is found has been reduced to 5% of its previous area. It is currently classified as critically endangered and is one of the rarest primates in the world, with only 6,000 individuals left in the wild. The Antiochia brushfinch is a poorly known species of bird from the family Passerellidae. It was scientifically described in 2007 on basis of three museum specimens from Antiochia in Colombia. This brushfinch species is persisting in fairly small patches of low scrub close to people. Opportunities to protect remaining habitat patches as new reserves and to quickly restore working lands using sylvie pasture techniques hold great potential to benefit this species, but action must be taken quickly. The Munchique wood wren, described as new to science in 2003, is endemic to the Munchique massif. The Munchique wood wren was the first bird species to be described as new to science in an electronic journal rather than in a traditional print-only journal. The Areo antpitta exhibits behavior typical of other members of its genus, it is a shy, terrestrial forager for insects in the leaf litter within the forest understory. 
It ascends to higher perches to sing, and is most active and vocal in the hours following dawn and prior to dusk. Habitat used by the bird has been extensively cleared for pasture, and the area is rich in minerals. Like other TD monkey species, Caqueta TD are monogamous and pairs raise about one baby each year. Babies make purring noises similar to cats when they are content. TD monkey diets typically consist primarily of fruit, with leaves the second most important food item, and with seeds forming only a small portion of the diet. It is highly endangered due to habitat fragmentation and a small population. According to the author's estimate, the population size of the species may be fewer than 250 adult animals. It lives in forests fragmented by agricultural activity, and dispersal is hazardous since it must cross open savanna or barbed wire in order to reach new nearby forest fragments. Nisphoros wren is a species of bird in the family Troglodytidae. It is endemic to Colombia. Its natural habitat is subtropical or tropical high-altitude shrubland. It is threatened by habitat loss. The sapphire-bellied hummingbird has bright plumage, with blue undersides and green uppersides and black wings. The forked tail is blue-black. It is found only in Colombia. The species is endemic to the Atlantic coasts. Its natural habitats are subtropical or tropical mangrove forest and subtropical or tropical dry shrubland. It is threatened by habitat loss. The dusky star frontlet is another hummingbird species, found only at high altitudes in the Cordillera Occidental of Colombia. Its status was mysterious for a long time as it was only known from a single museum specimen. This bird was listed as a species of least concern for many years, it became evident that it was close to extinction, and its status was upgraded to critically endangered. The gorgoted puffleg measures 100 mm in length. The name of the species is in relation to the gorget on the throat of the male, a patch of iridescent green and brilliant blue feathers, and from the puffs of white feathers at the thighs. It faces the risk of extinction, and therefore a status of critically endangered has been recommended. The only known habitat is the cloud forests of the Serenia del Pinche. The habitat is threatened by clearing forest for agriculture, especially coca farming. Fuertes's parrot is about 24 cm long and is green with indigo wing feathers, red shoulders, and a blue crown. The bird's pale ivory bill has chestnut feathers at the base. It was rediscovered in 2002 after an absence of 91 years on the slopes of a volcano in Colombia. It is classified as being critically endangered, threatened by deforestation. The Colombian woolly monkey is a critically endangered species of woolly monkey. Among all Adelinae primates, it exhibit the most sexual dimorphism in body size. Males are about 45% heavier than their female counterparts. However, the cause of this dimorphism remains an enigma as there are no apparent female choice in favor of larger males. In fact, 
Mating amongst Colombian woolly monkeys is promiscuous in that all adult and subadult males in a group mate with each female in estrus, and male-male rivalries in the context of mating are very rare. Between 1990 and 1996 the cloud forest in the Rio Chiquita Valley, where we can find the Tashira Antpita, was entirely changed into coffee plantations below. Until 2016 this species had not been sighted since 1956, and was thought possibly extinct. However, in June 2016, scientists rediscovered the bird. The Carousel seed eater is a recently discovered species of seed eater. This bird lives on Isla Carousel in the Caroni River. The males are gray with blue flecks, and the females are yellow. The species has been described based on three specimens found in 2001. Its only known habitat, bamboo forest on the type locality, has been cleared to allow construction of the Tokoma Dam, but researchers are hopeful of finding the birds living elsewhere. Daggernose sharks are predators of small schooling fishes. Its reproduction is viviparous, this species is capable of shifting the timing of its reproductive cycle by several months in response to the environment. Harmless to humans, the daggernose shark is caught for food and is bycatch in artisanal and commercial fisheries. Limited in range and slow reproducing, it has been assessed as critically endangered by International Union for Conservation of Nature in light of a steep population decline in recent years. The current population is believed to be extremely low, with no more than 250 individuals believed to be in existence as of 2016. Indeed, it may even be in reproductive collapse, in which case it will likely become extinct in the near future. The Trinidad piping guan are forest birds, and the nest is built in a tree. Three large white eggs are laid, the female alone incubating. This arboreal species feeds on fruit and berries, as well as flowers and leaves. It is a large bird, somewhat resembling a turkey in appearance, and research has shown that its nearest living relative is the blue-throated piping guan from South America. It is a mainly arboreal species feeding mostly on fruit, but also on flowers and leaves. At one time abundant, it has declined in numbers and been extirpated from much of its natural range and the it has been rated the bird as critically endangered. The Bellum Carasso is a highly endangered subspecies of Carasso endemic to Brazil. It is critically endangered as its highly limited range is located within the most deforested part of Amazonia. As with its relative, the Alagoas Carasso, it was considered extinct in the wild for many years due to most of its vital habitat being destroyed. However, the species was still listed as, critically endangered, by the International Union for Conservation of Nature as suitable though very scant habitat remained. The Rio Bronco antbird is a bird species in the family Thamnophilidae. It is found in Roraima. Its natural habitats are subtropical or tropical moist lowland forests and subtropical or tropical moist shrubland. It is severely threatened by habitat loss. The species likely to go extinct in 20 years if deforestation continues at its current pace.
The Kaapori capuchin is a capuchin monkey endemic to Brazil, usually found in dense forest regions, where their food is more abundant, but can also be found in secondary growth areas during the dry season. Like most capuchins, the Kaapori capuchin is diurnal, arboreal and omnivorous, their diet consisting of small animals and plants. They eat roughly equal portions of plants and animals, mainly feeding on ripe fruits and small insects and invertebrates. It is polygamous, and females usually give birth to one infant per birth, with twins being rare. Births usually occur every two years, but they may occur closer together if a baby dies.